Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Magic Gnome, and today we are going to be doing a bit of a different kind of video. Today is the first of a little guide I'm going to be doing because um, the, some of the some raids kind of hard to do. They're kind of tricky, even when you're max level. So I'm going to do a little walkthrough here. So today we're going to be doing heroic Mogushan vaults. If you want, um, so that you can get uh, certain achievements like, um, let's see, yeah, you can get like the heroic stone guard, fang, the curse, all the Mogushan achievements. But of course, the most prestigious is a will of the emperor achievement, which will give you deliver of the vaults title right here that's basically why you want to go in here but of course there is of course the chance in mogushan vaults in elegon and the elegon boss here, right here you can get the reins of the astral cloud serpent pretty sure it's a low drop chance so we're going to be doing heroic so a couple of little tips when you're doing heroic first off um you might want to sell a few things make sure your bags are clear because you're going to be getting a lot of loot if you actually loot all the stuff which you probably should junk in my inventory so we'll go ahead and take some of this stuff out then we'll be good to go um, yeah, that should be enough room okay so before we go in um, just a couple of things if you're just here because you want to um, if you want to, because you want to uh, defeat the will of the emperor on heroic mode and you don't know how to do it, just skip to the end. I don't want to waste your time, so just skip to the end if you're here just for the final boss of Mogushan. But uh, if you're not, and you're just here to see me run the dungeon with all the mechanic, the raid with all the mechanics and such, just keep watching. And um, also, before we go in, quick uh, self promotion. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And click the bell for notifications because I'm going to be doing videos like this all the time. So don't forget to you know, don't forget to do that so you can be here when I do that. Okay. So another th thing, you should also go down here to your profile and go to raid difficulty, mythic and and or heroic, 25 man. Heroic 25 man is what we're going to be doing. Okay, so that's basically it. So just walk in. Once you're over here, Lore Walker Cho is going to start talking. If you're interested in lore, listen to him. Okay, so... So just kill all these any way you like. I'm a druid, so I'll just moonstrike them all. Let's go ahead and wake these guys. They can't really hurt you, so just... There. And I got a pet. Cool. <laughs> that was close. Okay, now this part, you gotta make sure you do this right. You just walk over here. Like that. That will wake these two guardians up and then you just kill them both. Alright, then we come over here. And do the exact same thing, just walk right into them. Fang the Accursed. Sure. Let's 
So you just do that. Okay, so the Zandalari trolls are going to burst through the doors, and you just fight through them all. Make sure you kill, basically go ahead and kill all the Zandalari. I would just go ahead and kill all of them. Just go bear for them. Okay, here comes the boss riding on his war wyvern. Dying time. There we go. Now you're just gonna run in here. What a shame for a Zandalari piece of cake. But it ain't no tea. Take that trinket. So now just talk to Little Walker Cho right here. He's gonna keep pressing buttons over there, which will, which will awaken these things. Kill the vassals, I guess. I guess those are his vassals, so just kill the vassals. Yeah, I don't know why you would um, let someone whose title is the Demented rule. But that's what happened, basically. So now, Kyong the Merciless. So you just kill that guy. Don't even have to worry about these if you're geared up. Then you just kill the skull, kill Mang the Demented right here. And Xion right here will have all your loot. Now you just run down the stairs to where Cho is. And then you just run in here. Look at the dust along the floor. These dark holes have not seen football for many centuries. They used to play football here apparently. have to but I like I just clear you don't have to clear all this out but I like to clear it all out so all right so Elagon's gonna be down this hall right here 
and this is where you're going to have the chance to get the mount. So then you just kill all these guys. Then wait. Cho's gonna run. This room pulses with energy. Must be pure like any we have seen so far. Fascinating. I have never heard tales of anything like Just wait for him to stop talking and turn on the engine right here. Oh, and talk to him. Talk to him and he'll turn it on. So then you're just going to run out of the platform, you're going to turn into like a celestial thing. So then your loot's going to be in this cache of pure energy. I did not get them out. Go. Just going to go back down the corridor. Easter egg for the whole um, Isle of Thunder thing right there. All right, so you're just gonna come in here and kill these three keepers. Activate this. In normal mode, that's all you have to do, but here in heroic mode, you also have to come over here, destroy this, destroy this, destroy this, then run all the way to the other side, and there are three more right here. Destroy this, destroy this, and then destroy this. And now the boss fight is initiating. Alright, now you just wait for all your stuff.
Let's kill all the Emperor's stuff. The Titan gas will deal a little bit of damage. Because we kill we destroyed all of the pipes. So then you just kill the Emperor's Courage. So you just wait until a mob drops down. Okay. And there you have it. How many of these must be the hidden beneath the earth? And that, and there you have it. About the dark secrets of the Mogus. That is Mogushan Volts. Pretty simple if you know what you're doing. But uh if you don't if you didn't know about the pipes thing, it's impossible to even start the final boss. and But once you do that, on heroic difficulty, as we're in right now, you will get the title Deliverer of the Vaults. You don't have to use it, but you can use it. So, Deliverer of the Vaults. If you got the um, Elegon mount, the mount that you get from Elegon, drop it in the comments below. I want to know um, like the specifics. What exactly is the drop chance on that? So, anyway... I hope you found this guide informative, and if you did, don't forget to say so below. But I will see. But I did my self, um, I did my self promotion earlier, so I'll just get, I'll just get out of you guys' hair. This is Magic Gnome. Have a wonderful day. See ya.